Jack Quinn. Try and guess where I am. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm currently at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'm on the outside of the track. Tonight is the hauler parade. So all the Cup Series teams will have their haulers coming into the track and entering down that way as the Neon Garage. I've been coming here and doing the hauler parade the last several years. Last year I didn't do a video on it. Probably should have, but I didn't. I think I did one 2022 was the only time I did a video on the hauler parade. So there's been some different driver changes if you're unfamiliar with NASCAR or don't follow it as much and if you're subscribed to the channel and you don't really see a lot of the driver changes as I don't over talk about it and discuss it. Um, but there's been a lot of driver changes between the last two years. Some drivers have stayed the same, some have changed, obviously. But we're going to be here, we're going to watch the haulers come in. And it's really just a big tradition at any track, regardless of where, of where, where the races are at. Thursday night is always the cup haulers coming into the track. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock, the Xfinity and the truck haulers will be entering the track. I'm not going to get up that early for those, uh, but tomorrow I will be at the truck race, which is the Victoria's Voice for, uh, Foundation 200. Uh, last year, Kyle Busch won the race. This year, he's in a different truck. He's in the 71, or not in the 71, in the 7. 71 is Rasha Kapoor. He's in the 7 truck for Spire, so it's a little different in the truck series. But we're going to be at the race tomorrow. We'll try and get tickets for the Xfinity race. And then we'll see how the rest of the week plays out. And here are the first arrivals. Team Penske. Austin Centric. 12 of Ryan Blaney, defending champion. Joey Logano. That's all three Team Penske trucks. Kyle Larson for Team Hendrick. Also, I do apologize. It is very, very windy outside here on this Thursday night. William Byron, Daytona 500 champion. These are obviously all the Team Hendrick cars. Chase Elliott, 2020 champion. Which means Alex Bowman is the last one to show up. Seabell. They changed the hauler for Hamlin. Where's the packaging? Where's the tracking, the tracking number? My disappointment is immeasurable and the day is really not going home. Bye guys. <laughs> 2017 champ, Martin Truex. Hi, Gibbs. <laughs> that looks nice as fuck, dude. That was Reddick. That looks nice. And here's Bubba Wallace. Man, 20 through 11 trucks look nice. The hollers look fucking nice, bro. Got some underglow going on the RFK trucks. All right, all right. Melon Farmer, Ross Jastin. Jesus Christ, that was loud. <laughs> Last week's winner, Daniel Suarez. Josh Berry. Noah Gregson. Vegas native. 
Man, Chase Briscoe's hauler is fucking hauling ass. <laughs> Good lord. He is booking it. Here comes a good string of them. Kyle Bush. Another Vegas native. And Austin Dillon. Michael McDowell. 2021 Daytona 500 winner. And the driver with the most laps left this season, Todd Gilliland. 2023 Daytona 500 winner, Ricky Stenhouse. Derek Krause driving the number 16 this weekend. And here's the 31 of Daniel Hemrick. 2018 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion. No, not 18. What am I thinking? It's 2021. I'm dumb, don't mind me. Corey LaJoy with Chili. If you get that reference, thank you. You're very cultured. Carson Hosova. Zane Smith, another Vegas native. Got a lot of Vegas drivers in the Cup Series this year. Here's the Legacy Motor Club haulers. Eric Jones. And way back there is the 42 of Jan Hunter Nemejek. Harrison Burton. Damn, he's quick. He was booking it. I wonder why. It's the 15. Kaz Grala in the car this weekend for Rick Ware Racing. Justin Haley. He was with Colleague last year. Now in the 51 car for Rick Ware Racing. JJ Haley. That's a nice looking hauler. NY Racing making, trying to make their first start of the year. Well, that is it for the 2024 Penzo Oil 400 Holler Parade. They're on the strip just way off in the distance over there. Made their way towards the speedway and they are now entering the Neon Garage and getting settled in for Penzo Oil 400 weekend. Tomorrow I will be at the racetrack fairly early, not super early but i'll be there early enough to see cars on track and see some action on track for you guys i'm not going to be going in the neon garage this year as i don't have a neon garage pass but it's okay been in the neon garage plenty of times and with the way that nascar has done their practice schedules there's really no point in being in the neon garage anymore so if you guys enjoyed this hit that sub uh, subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a video again be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, really, really enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next video. Peace.